Yo, what's up UHS hardware fans? Today we're starting off on the move. We're gonna be mobile. We're doing a little video about the very mobile and very versatile Dolphin key cutting machine. And then I'm gonna be going through the entire setup, download, upgrade, and key cutting process using a cell phone. It's easy to do. Come with me, it's gonna be fun. Today we'll be working with the Dolphin key cutter. It's a battery powered, completely mobile key duplicator. To use it, you need the X-Horse app, which is easily available in the App Store, or the X-Horse Key Tool Max, which is recommended. Included in the box is a Dolphin key cutter itself, milling cutters of 1.5mm and 2.5mm, two probes, an M4 hex wrench tool with a red and black handle, an M2 hex wrench with a green handle, an M1 clamp with link stopper, an M2 clamp with a shim, protective shield, link setup key, power plug, and power adapter, a USB device cable. These are the parts and pieces you're going to be working with after removal from the packaging. The first step is to remove the protective bracket installed to keep the moving parts secure. Use the provided hex wrenches to remove the M4 screws from the top and the M8 screw from the bottom. Locate the small package labeled milling cutter and find the small container labeled probe. Install the probe in the left bracket, tighten with the original screw and red M4 wrench. Then install the milling cutter in the right bracket with the flattened portion facing front for secure install. Locate the M1 clamp. Loosen the clamp bracket using the hex wrench, then slide the clamp in Tighten the bracket to secure the clamp in place. Plug the adapter into the rear of the Dolphin unit, then the female side of the power cable into the adapter base, and the male end into the outlet. After all plugs and parts are in place and secure, power on the machine with the button located at the top of the unit just behind the LED messaging screen on the right side. That's going to conclude our first video on the X-Horse Dolphin Key Cutter. If you want to learn how to calibrate your machine or update the firmware, continue on to the next video where I'll show you how to do that step by step. Or skip right ahead to video 3 to learn how to cut a key by code. See you guys there!